Hey guys, Cindy Otter here with my artsy endeavors and my creative year. Are we ready? Ready for this month? I know uh, Gina and Ann have talked to you about what our topic is this month. And our first prompt is passion. And the question is, what is your passion? Um, now, everybody has passions. It doesn't matter who you are. You, you have a passion of some type, shape, or form, right? So, let me get to my page. We gotta get our May. Where's our May folder? There she is. We need to get our May folder up here. Oh, my fingers are not working very well today. So let's get our May folder up here. Now, what I wanted to do, the first thing I thought um, when I said that is, you know, what is the actual definition of passion? And the actual definition of passion in the English language says, um, it's a strong feeling of enthusiasm or excitement for something or about doing something. Um, it also talks about it can be an, a strong um, emotion of anger, which we're not going to go that way. But So we're going to talk about our passion. What is our passion? Now, um, the first thing I'm going to say... Oh, I like that. That's pretty. Let's use that paper today. Uh, the first thing I'm going to say about my passion is my passion at this point in my life, my normal life, we're talking about Cindy as a person, my passion right now is art. Okay? Um... In my previous life, prior to chronic pain, my passion was my job. And that was just, that's where I was at. So, today we're going to talk about my passion when it comes to chronic pain. So, let me get some things out here. Um, wow, my book is getting full, guys, and we're only in May. Um, I'm going to have to do another book because there's no way the rest of the year is going to fit in this one, but that's okay. This one can be January through May, right? Um, so let's go ahead and let me get some stuff out here, and we're going to start talking about my passion when it comes to chronic pain, what we can do about it, how I work within my passion, and we'll go from there. So I'll be right back. All right, so what I've decided to do, this page has, I don't think you can see them. See the real pretty flowers on there? You know what? I'm going to use those. So, and then on the back side we'll do some other stuff. But for this I'm going to use those little flowers. This is just a fine liner. It's got the blue tip. Um, I don't, oh, 20 gauge. And we're going to see, I'm going to see how good or how bad I can do these flowers. Um, so we're talking, you know, about passion. And my passion really with chronic pain is my goal, my passion, I'm not sure what you really want to call it, but is to, um, I just want to help people. I know when I first um, ended up in the chronic pain um, spectrum, if you want to call it that, I don't know what you want to call it, but when I first um, started this journey, I felt so alone and I felt so misunderstood and you know you you start to second guess yourself oh my god you know do I really hurt that bad or is this all in my head you know why why you know don't people understand you know how come people look at me like I'm crazy oh there's nothing wrong with you you're fine you know and it just, it really, um, it plays on you. It plays on you mentally. It plays on you physically. Um, I'm going to bring out some more. This is a turquoise. Oh, this is a teal. I want a green. I don't know if I have a green and a fine liner, guys. I don't think I do, so we're going to use some other colors. Um, but, you know, I, I couldn't understand why, you know, I felt, there we go, there's some green, um, why I felt the way I did. And I really wished back then that I would have had somebody that could have talked to me and um, helped me to understand that, you know what, you're not alone. Um, what you're feeling is is normal. You know, I use that word um 
lightly because normal, what's normal? Who really knows what normal is, you know? Um, you know, it's okay to feel these feelings and it's okay to be um, in the state that you're in. And what I mean by that is, you know, it's okay to feel like you're alone. It is. It is okay. Um, you can get through this. You can you can excel. You can survive. You can um, you can really grow in this experience. Now I know I'm going to have some naysayers out there that are going to be like, oh yeah, okay, whatever. No, yeah, you can. You can grow in this experience. This is a little bottle. I don't know if you guys have seen this before. Um, I used to use them on my job. But this one I got at the dollar store. And what it is, I put water in here. And it's just a little bottle with this um, plastic ring on top. And when you push it down, what it does is it brings water up into this little ring. So I don't have to get the whole bottle of water dirty. Um, all I need to do is just take a little bit of water where I want it and I can just use my paint. So anyways, um, just sharing that little tool with you. So, you know, my passion is to help others to understand that it is okay. You can feel this way. You can, um, you know, you can make it through this. Um, everything that's going on in your mind, in your brain, it's okay. It's, it's, I hate to use the word lightly, but it's normal, you know, and there's a lot of people out there that don't understand that. And if they don't have the support, I am so lucky. I have the support at home. So, um, you know, he gets it. But if you don't have that support out there, you can feel like you're the only one on this planet going through this crap. And it's just, you know, is this really true? Is this really what's happening to me? Is it, you know, is it, is it okay that I, I just want to sit and cry today? And yet yesterday I was singing to my favorite you know, radio station or my favorite CD or whatever. Um, you know, is this normal? Is this okay? Yes, it is. It's all part of um, dealing with the chronic pain and learning how to deal with your new environment and learning how to deal with um, the, the spot that you're in at this point. So is it okay? Yeah, it's okay. Now see what I do is I've got this is green water, so I just clean it off and there we go. I can start out normally with clean water once I get it out. But instead of doing a whole bottle of water and making it all green, that water underneath it, um, now I can just have clear water. There we go. So that is, you know, that's really what my passion is at this point, is I want to be able to help people. And if my experience will help somebody, then I'm all for it. If, um, you know, when I went through all that crazy stuff, if, if that's going to help you to understand that it's okay, cool. That's my passion at this point. Um, and with my passion of wanting to help someone else with a chronic pain, and I turn to art to help me deal with it, so now I actually have kind of like a double passion, right? I have the passion of wanting to be able to help people in chronic pain. And then I also have the passion of my art, which I use at this point to help people with chronic pain. So my brush is still dirty. It's all good. It's all good. We'll get it cleaned. Let's get that green out of there because I want purple. Even though it's a blue green, it'll be okay. So we're just going to use it now. So there's my passions. These are quite simple and sweet and to the point. And, um, you know, when it comes to other things in my life, you know, what am I passionate about? Um, you know, there's, I love my, my grandbabies. I love my kids. I, you know, that's, that, but that's just normal life. That, I don't consider that passions. I consider those just part of life. Um, my passion, like I said, is the art 
I can get lost in my art, which is fabulous because sometimes when the pain is overwhelming, you have to get lost in your art just to get away from it. Um, I can get, um, you know, lost in chit chatting with you guys because sometimes I just feel like there's so much I want to say and I need to take all that time and say it because I know, like I said, what I was feeling when I was alone and I don't, I don't wish that on anybody. It's a very scary ride. Um, it's a very scary journey, I should say. You, you know, everybody else is going off to work and you're sitting at home and you're like, you know, what the heck? What, what good am I? You know, what's my purpose for breathing oxygen? And it's not easy. It is not easy to watch everybody else around you live a normal life. And here you are going, huh, now what I do? You know, I got tired of watching Netflix yesterday, so what am I going to do today to pass the day away? And like I said, that's where I think um, with what experience I have, meaning, you know, what I've been through, which is the same exact thing, the same exact emotions, you know, I just, I hope I can help someone um, to realize that, you know, it's okay. It really is. And things will get better. Um, your pain, the pain does not get better um, in my situation, but what it does is I've learned how to live with it. So when I say the pain gets better, no, um, the pain is still there just as hard as it was the day I had the accident. Uh, it has not gone away at all, but I'm learning to live with it. So by learning to live with it, um, it's okay. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw some highlights on these little leaves here. And then I'm just going to play. So, oops. It might help if I have water in it. Come on, give me some water. I think that's too much. There we go. So, yeah, that's what my passion is. Short, swimple, sim yeah, short and swimple. <laughs> short, simple, to the point, easy. Um, that's what, you know, I'm passionate about. There we go. Get some of that. Uh, take some of that later green and cover up a little bit of that white. There we go. That's better. And then we'll just kind of do some on the stems here. Give it a little highlight. Just give me a little bit of white here with my green, my blue green. So yeah, um, you know, I hope you guys can find your passion if you haven't already. Um, I know it, it, sometimes it takes a while. Sometimes young kids will find their passion. I think my son is still, you know, he's going to be 32 this year. And I still think he's trying to find his passion. And, you know, once you do, take that passion and just go and play and have fun and run with it. All right, I'm going to dry this up real quick, and then we're going to come back, maybe do some um, words, maybe some little bit of doodling here and there, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, so it's all dry, and um, it's been a bit since I've been working on this. It's completely dry, so... Um, Back at it, I found these words. It says, if the young only knew, if the old only could. And I don't know why, but I thought, boy, that's a passion, you know, because when you're young, you think, oh, I can do anything. And when you're old, you're like, yeah, I know I can do everything now. And then you can't. So that just kind of, kind of almost defined my passion because of my chronic pain issue. Um, you know, now I can't do everything I wanted to do so but it's all good um, I've got another fine liner here this has got dioxine purple in it but I got my pit pens out I actually moved them closer to me um, and I'm just thinking about maybe throwing in some shading this way you know oops I just got some yellow on there it's all right it's all good maybe this way a little bit 
The greatest thing um, with these pit pens is, uh, well, first of all, um, just so you guys know, this piece of cardstock has been, um, it's got clear gesso on it. So this is one that I, you know, um, prepared a bit ago, actually at the beginning of the year. So that's why I'm able to do the things that I can on this cardstock. Um, a lot of the other ones, though, that I've been working on have not been uh, prepped. So I just play with them the best I can and see what happens. All right. So, you know, I was talking about my passion and, and you know, art at this point art is my passion because it's what I can do it's what I really enjoy doing you know what I'm just gonna go like this I was gonna do dots but let's just do like little lines I like that better this is gold um, this is a gold a fine gold from golden um, it's a fine gold fluid acrylic so that's what I'm using on here right now. And that sound that you hear is the actual um, clear gesso against this metal tip. So I'm really sorry if that's annoying. I know it would drive me crazy because it is. <laughs> but um, pretty soon we'll be done with this side. So yeah, like I said, I hope you guys, you know, um, find your passion and... You know, do your best to live your passion, um, whether it's helping others or, you know, your family. Maybe your your passion is your family. Um, it can be anything. Uh, I don't want to do a whole lot more to this. I do want to take this, and I'm going to cut it. I'm just going to move this off to the side so I don't stick my finger in it. I just want to trim this up. We were supposed to get really wicked um, thunderstorms today, but we haven't gotten them, so. Um, you know, as I was saying, find your passion and, you know, your passion, your dream, your goals, you know, don't, don't let anybody stop you from them. You only go around this, you know, world once you might as well enjoy it and do the best you can while you're here so and then what I'm gonna do is on the back side I'm just gonna play like I normally do um, and I actually may end up doing a little bit more about different passions you know things that have been a passion in the past all right let's see um, we've got yellow I want to use a little bit of this yellow only I'm going to water it down quite a bit. Oh, actually, yeah, let's use this. This is the only way I can put these tops on is by holding it against my finger. It's the only way I can get them in. Just going to water it quite a bit. And then I'm just going to wet them down. Um, this paper that I, oops, this paper that I put underneath my my art now, my husband just brought it in not too long ago and said, hey, can you use this? Apparently when he had his um, business, which was a firearms business, um, he used it to do sending out, you know, wrapping stuff up to send out. So I was like, sure, I'll use it. So I want to see how sturdy it is and how good it, you know, keeps the paints and stuff. We'll see. It's almost like a some type of a fiber, um, a fiber paper. All right. Oops. So let me dry these. I just spilled water over here, but that's okay. Dry these up. We'll glue them down, and I'll be right back. All right, so these are dry. Now this is just um, white glue. Um, I did not, let's see if the young only knew. I did not um, thin this at all. I just put the glue in the fine liner and I've never had a problem with it um, 
plugging up on me. I've never had a problem with it, you know, uh, drying out. I just stuck it in the fine liner. It needs more in it right now. Um, I just stuck it in the fine liner and there we go. And it's great when you're using mini, you know, mini bits of things. Um, you don't have to have a glue stick because a glue stick can get really messy. But something like these, it works great. I thought this was a cute saying. And then what I'll do is I'll take a black pen and bring out the words again. Whoops. Make sure they're down flat. I'm going to put my glue back together. All right, let's see. This is just a regular pen. And let's see if it'll work for me. Yep. If the young only knew and if the old only could. Right? Oops, throwing my pens around. This pen I think is going to end up in the trash because I've tried using it before. See, sometimes it writes, sometimes it doesn't. It's really, really annoying. That time it worked. Sometimes I think it's me, but I think it's just the pen. And then I'm going to take, of course, my big Sharpie. And hopefully I won't mess this one up. We'll try not. A little bit over on that one, but that's okay. I like this. It's just a simple yet pretty page. You know, I just used the scrapbook paper that was underneath and, um, you know, just played with it. And I really like it. It, Like I said, it's short, simple, and to the point. So that's my passion. Um, I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to fast forward and we're just going to play around on the back and see what we can come up with. But first I'm going to dry the front of this so I don't get these all over. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I will chat with you later.